Richard, you are responsible for the course design here in, uh, in Normandy. Was there a particular challenge in designing the obstacles here? Yes, there was, Cindy. The whole point was the obstacles, there was nothing here. And the ground we had to build up, as you can see behind me, above the natural surface. And then some of the areas, they wouldn't allow us to put anything in the ground. So we have obstacles eight, uh, three, and five are all actual portable obstacles. There is nothing in the ground. So that was a good challenge. And always it's a challenge when you're building everything from scratch. Uh, with these portable elements, um, th how did you solve it to make sure that they are not going to be moved uh, once a carriage uh, touches those, ops those elements? Yeah, that's always a challenge. So what we did for number eight, which is the concrete cylinders, those concrete cylinders are about two-thirds full of concrete. And we know they're very, very heavy. The other thing I do is I don't make them too tight together. In other words, if I do make them tight, I'm going to have more people hit them. In number three, which is the bridge obstacle in the water, those elements are very, very big. So they have a large square footage area on the ground, and that makes them harder to move. Plus, they have weights inside, and they are actually attached to slight chains down below. So that helped that. The final one, number five, is a bit more awkward because the elements are smaller, and those we've marked heavily plus knockdowns. So those may move a little bit, but we test event proved they work well. And Richard, we also noticed that some of the obstacles are more uh, open and some of the obstacles are more uh, technical. Um, is that uh, something that you, uh, you, you, did, uh, you did on purpose? Yes, yes. Uh, again, going back to the portables, I tend to make those more op uh, open so that we don't have so many hitting and chances to move them. Here we're standing in number two obstacle, which is fairly tighter and technical. Number one is technical, but it's more open. Because these two obstacles are very close together, I didn't want them to do two tight technical obstacles straight off. So the first one should be open, flowing, fast. This one will be more technical. Uh, you also told me, uh, Richard, that uh, you wanted to be the obstacles very nice for the, for the spectators uh, to look at. Uh, how did you build that in? What I try to do is every obstacle I want to look different. So I try to do a slightly different, des uh, I do a different design, but then I try to do different structures. So you can see the one with the house looks very different and the house I raised up above being in the middle. So when you see the horses come in there, they raise up above the other elements. So that should be pleasing for the crowd. So I try to ch make sure everyone, when you go to them, they are different and it also helps the drivers. Drivers don't like obstacles that all look alike.